Hey there guys, I'm Imanshu and welcome to Filmora music video editing series where I'm gonna teach you some amazing stuff. So in this episode, we're gonna learn this effect. Come to the dark side. Okay, so once inside, now take any video and put it into timeline. Now go to the sample colors and then take any color and put it above the video. Okay, now double click on this color and here go to its compositing section and change it to overlay. Now you will see that our color is overlaying the video. Now just like this, put other sample colors above the video. After a set duration, you can choose the duration as much as you want. And then simply go to the first color, right click on it and click on copy effects. Now using the mouse, highlight all the other colors and then simply right click over them and click on paste effects. Now doing this will apply the same overlay composition that we have applied to the first color to all the other colors. So if I play now then you can see that it is quite slow in the color change. So now we can trim down the color duration as much as we want and have them positioned one after another and then by selecting this whole bunch we can copy them and then paste them again after and after each other so that its duration will get extended. Now you will see this fast strobe effect. Ok now you can create the strobe effect using this way or you can download this pre-made strobe light video that I have created from the link in the description. And once it is downloaded, simply import it back to Filmora. And then again put it above the main video and change the compositing to overlay. And now to change its speed, simply click on this speedometer icon here to either slow it down or speed it up. Now it also make it strobe as much as you prefer. Ok now our effect is pretty much done, you can export it if you want to. But to make this effect look even more complete or better, let's just go to the effects tab, into the filter section and then here in the shake section and choose this extreme shake filter and put it above the straw V2. Now if you play it then you will see that it is shaking. So to make it even more better, simply double click on this extreme shake filter and then here click check on this RGB box and make the intensity to full. And now you will see that it is strobing and shaking at the same time. So yeah guys that is how this effect is done. And also one more thing, one little tip. When exporting the video I actually suggest you to export it in 30 fps or 20 fps rather than 60 fps and instead of telling you why let me show you why. So here on the right on the 60 fps you can clearly see that the motion of the RGB is too much and it kind of giving you seizures. While on the same side on the 24 fps it is still giving you seizures like the 60 fps but not that much. So yeah that is also one thing that you have to keep in mind. So guys in the next video I will teach you this weird unfiltered glitch effect. So do like, share, subscribe and turn that notification bell to get notified when I upload this next video. And I will see you later.